What's up? This is Derek Vincent Smith, AKA Pretty Lights. I'm in a good mood this morning. Just got my first Grammy nomination. Woo! I'm in New York City, chilling with the Pandora crew. Gonna rock out the Discovery Den tonight. But uh, we got a whole day ahead of us first. So let's hit it. We're gonna start off at one of my favorite shops, the Hat Club. Always got the fresh caps and the fresh colors, man. I come here every time I'm in the city. It's small, so every time I come in here, they're like, the size eight dude, who's gonna buy 20 hats? <laughs> you wanna help me out? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Man. Give me that gold and black. And the wool and navy. Yeah, this one too. I'm usually rocking a cap once in a while when I'm rocking a very intimate song. I take my hat off to increase the intimacy. <laughs> Let the audience see my hair. I think that's a good stack. Watch it ass <laughs> Yeah, New York. It's cool to be back in Brooklyn because really this is where my record started. I kicked it here for three weeks, working on music with different groups of musicians every day. But now we're heading to Rough Trade, the Brooklyn record store to sign copies of the album. And I love these things. I love in-store signings. My passionate fans come out, the people who really listen to my music and appreciate it like I do. All right, you ready to call me? What's up, y'all? How you living? I'm doing great, man. What's up, y'all? Yo. I'm gonna go through about three times as many Sharpies as this. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. Whoa, that's, that's quite flattering. Congrats on that uh, nomination, though. Dude, uh, I saw that last night. I was, I was <laughs> stoked as I you appreciate know. that, dude. Dude, I did eight shows on this analog tour. No, dude. for real. Uh, so I'm inspired by the fact that I get to hear how people are affected by my music, and that perpetuates my inspiration. I like to meet people up close and understand why they respect what I'm doing. It was amazing to meet him. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was like Christmas morning for me as like a little kid. Well, not to sound so cliche, but uh, when I saw him in 2012, he kind of changed my life and his music. And ever since then, been kind of obsessed following him where I can. Enthralled with his like music and you're moving with it and you're moving with him. He's so f***ing rad, man. Just as rad as his music. And that's all I was hoping for. I try to make music with emotion and that, that can help people either express things that they feel or help them feel new things that they didn't know that they felt. It's really just a conduit for human emotion, really. This is Joel Hamilton, engineer and producer on A Color Map of the Sun. This is Studio G and I just wanted to pop by and say what's up since so much of the record was made right here and congratulate Joel on the Grammy nomination too. The fact that there's a Grammy nomination for a record where your vision remained intact the entire time rather than pandering to whatever other forces may be in the music industry. Yeah. What it stands for, it's more important than just the fact that you got a Grammy nomination for your record. The fact that like every single decision on that thing served your vision and that was it like you could have gone any direction because there weren't any external influences coming to bear on it you didn't even take the torch down like half an inch as far as holding up the torch for being like an independent artist doing your own thing to me that's that's why this is an amazing moment always making me sound so good on camera dude <laughs> you know that's why it's real <laughs> dude, it's real it's easy it's easy thank you yeah man and this will be the last visit to the studio <laughs> the, the, where the we talk in. about the old record. <laughs> yeah. Was that, right, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, next time yeah, definitely. we'll make a new record. Yeah, let's do a new How's record. That? That's such an amazing view. The time is near. We're heading to Pandora's Discovery Den so I can do my part to uh, help the party get set off. I'm looking forward to closing out the show. I know I brought a big crew to make it extra special. I'm just so excited. 
excited. I've been waiting so long and I get to see this man right now. He's like my Jesus. Tonight I'm very excited for Pretty Lights. This is my 27th Pretty Light show. My first time ever seeing him was last Halloween and ever since my life has changed. He really put his heart and soul into it and it's really catching on.